Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 17th of 2022. Well, it is titled Stargate Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, what looks like a gate of stars off in the distance that perhaps you could travel out and through is actually our own Milky Way galaxy. Now we see this image, uh, which has been compressed. Normally the Milky Way is scattered, stretched more across the sky. But when we compress the image, compress a panoramic image, we can get it a little more uh, compressed in this way and then see it as this kind of gate. Now the Milky Way is our own galaxy as we see it from within. So essentially most of what we see in here is part of our own galaxy. And we can label the galaxy here. And we can see the desert down below and the observatory off to the right hand side. And of course our Milky Way galaxy. And the uh, galaxy shows the bright star clouds and dark dust clouds associated with a spiral galaxy. And we see these in other spiral galaxies. And we can also see them from within our own galaxy. However, being within our galaxy does make it harder to learn about the structure of our galaxy because we are stuck inside it. So it can be similar to trying to figure out what a building is like if you are brought into it blindfolded and put in one room and not allowed to leave that. How can you tell how many floors it has up or down and how far it extends? You may have some windows that allow you to see through and we do get some windows here that allow us to see more stars. But we have a lot of dust clouds that block out a lot of the area. So you would not be able to easily learn about that building without leaving it. And we cannot learn a lot about our galaxy. Uh, although we can use other methods, things like radio observations that will allow us to see through the dust clouds and to map out our galaxy in much more detail. And that allows us to determine the structure of our galaxy. But it's not as obvious as when you look at other distant galaxies when you see them. Now we also see here the zodiacal light. This is light from within our solar system. The zodiacal light is light from the sun that is reflected off dust grains within our solar system. So the light travels out, reflects off those dust grains and comes back to Earth. Essentially, that is showing the path of, of the planets and sun in the solar in the as they move through the sky, because they are all confined to a rather thin plane, all of the planets uh, 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 seem to move across the same portion of the sky. And those are what we call the constellations of the zodiac. And the zodiacal light is a brightening of that area because of dust grains within the solar system uh, that we see. So things that we see as a flat plane here, such as zodiacal light or the Milky Way galaxy, are telling us that both of these two objects, in the case of the zodiacal light, our solar system, and in the case of the Milky Way, our galaxy, are both very flattened objects, helping us to learn something about the structures of these. So that was our picture of the day for August 17th of 2022. It was titled Stargate Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.